my last question for you, Jerry, is very um, kind of last minute. So we were doing some research on um, your old playing days, and um, we came across a um, a great matchup between you and Scott, or yeah, you and Scott. Do you know which one I'm referring to? Uh, I believe it is the one that has been played over and over in our clubhouse where I strike him out on a hanging slider. As a slide, slider? Yeah. Uh, but it was hanging. Oh, it was a hanger. It was a slider. Oh, excuse me. It was, it was a changeup. That went back in towards Scott. Oh, it was an attempt at a slider. It was an attempt a, at a slider. <laughs> ah. T- today we would call that, you know, negative axis. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah. I t- there's In those years, I... I, I you know, I leaned on a slider a lot. I had a pretty sure. good slider. That was not one of the good ones. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I remember the first time they threw it up on a, on a video in our clubhouse in the morning meetings in spring training. And, you know, yeah. one of the players put it up. And, uh, yeah. and I was about to pull it up. Was myself, it? Do you, I think you know what I'm talking you about. I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, I, I, I believe it was Danny Valencia. Danny Valencia. Uh, right. Who was maybe the quickest to needle any one of all the players yeah. we've ever had but uh anyway it was thrown up there and you know and, and scott's you know flush in the face i should have crushed that pitch and that's I, what i was saying and, when uh, watching I it said, yeah you're the one who missed it bro yeah, that's a you know completely it's, it's 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 funny because when we spoke with andy too we talked about like how difficult it is for a major league ball player to make it more than three years right oh it's really just our job one day i mean they couldn't build 100 level completely. at t-mobile park you're absolutely right you're right mm-hmm. yeah and um you know we're watching this with the lens like, yeah, Jerry's a veteran at, at this point, and he's up against Scott, 2-2 two, two count. And I see the pitch happen, and Chris shows me this, and I'm like, can you, can you play that back for me? And he was like, what a terrible yeah. pitch. And I was like, look, man, like, I don't play in the bigs anymore, but I was a pitcher once. That's not a good pitch. <laughs> so this is – that is a moment – from the time that was first shown in our clubhouse, yeah. you know, many of our guys have asked me about it because, you know, I I confidently strode from the mound after hanging that slider yeah, yeah. and striking him oh, really? out. Yeah, you did. You and, did. Uh, you know, I, I in the time since, I, I want to say it was Justice Sheffield said, said man, you were the, you had it going on walking <laughs> off the mound. Look at that. And I, and I, and I said, Jeff, you, 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 you hang them, they miss them, you, walk you off like, like you meant yeah, to exactly. do. Yeah, exactly. Completely. <laughs> Same result. Strike three. <laughs> Um, are you all good? I think that's, yeah, I think we, you, amazing interview. And I'm curious, Jerry, you have any questions for Monday Mojo? There's what have you, what's, what are you dying to know about Monday Mojo? <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying to know how you guys rented this space next to the ballpark on such short order and, and turn this into what I would say is a, I, I walked in, I thought this is a pretty professional breakdown, you know? We got the, we got video cameras, we got lighting yep. fixtures. Well, that's, so that's Evan Barron. This guy produces the nightly news across the street. And so we have, that's fabulous. Yeah. yeah. So we have quite the, the tool in our back pocket. It, it, a, it yeah. all started as a passion project in 2020, 2021. And, um, you know, we've all got our, our, our own, you know, jo- uh, day-to-day jobs. but um, That pay the bills. Pay, that pays the bills, <laughs> right, and pays for this stuff. Right, exactly. But, um, you know, it's gotten to a point, especially these two boys here, but it's gotten to a point where, you know, we're taking a little bit further. Um, and it's just fun to watch. I mean, our first interview was Dave Sims, which Who's was great. Yeah, yeah. great. We've, we've, we've spoke with Goldie. And Aaron Goldsmith, who you have a podcast yeah. with. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm a regular listener of. I love, I love the wheelhouse. But, um, two favorites. Yeah, it's, it's just been a ride thus far. And then, you know, once we landed you, not just you, but like in person, that was like, well, you know, what else can we do with this? So um, Julio and uh, Jerry are our biggest inter- yep. interviews. Julio was a, was amazing for us. Yeah, yeah. we had Julio yeah, before. I, you got him on Zoom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> got him on Zoom. I, I, that would be more Mount Rushmore than I would consider this moment. No, uh, yeah, <laughs> Jerry, you've been like our, you know. Uh, it's it's funny when I start when we started this, I had the goal of getting you on, and I actually uh, got an offer from the Mariners for an account executive position doing ticket sales, and um, got the offer. I would have had to stop doing Monday Mojo. About a week, I just thought every night, I was like, what do I want to do? Like, I w- I've wanted to, to work for the Mariners, and, and I'm a sales guy. I've been wanting to do this for years. Finally got the job, and I had to decline it because this is our baby. This is what we are passionate about, and this, if I'm going to get into baseball, this is, the, this is the route that we wanted to take. And so with that being said, great place to wrap up. Really appreciate your time, you giving it to us and being as of an open book as you are, and I think – with that culture you've built, that's enabled us to have guys like Andy McKay, like Jesse Smith, like Dave Sims and Goldie and Julio and whatnot. And so for that, we are forever grateful. There's a, a 
like I said along the way, I love doing it. I love that you guys love it. There's a, and the, the idea of taking this and turning it into something more is, you know, that's part of the, the baseball dream. You know, that, that's the fun is that you, baseball more than any other sport, it's, a, it's an everyday sport and you don't have to be Einstein to, as I am living proof, to, to, to become part of the, the management group. You don't have to be seven foot two to, to stand in the middle. You don't have to throw 102 miles an hour like Mooney. You can throw 88 like Marco, and and and, this, and everything in between. You can be fast or slow. You can be, you can be quick twitch or more on the slow side. And and there's a spot for you if you work at the skill and develop it. You know, absolutely. Um, couldn't agree more. Um, thank you very much for your time. Line up the fireball shots. I smell October. Uh, thank you, listeners, for listening. Jerry, thanks for having. Uh, or thank you for being here. Um, what else? Go Mariners? I like it. Go Mariners. I like it. Go Mariners. Go Mariners. Go Mariners.